I gotta up the ante a little bit there, old bucko. Why? What do you mean, why? Because he said so. Bobby. Because I said so. How much? Double. Double? You kidding me? Did that sound like a joke to you? Bobby. I've been very patient. But I can't let this linger on forever. It's been long enough. My brother is in a car accident. What? Speak up when you're speaking to you. My brother is in a car accident. And I've respected that. Have I not? <clears throat> you have. Have I not? You have. Let me tell you a little story, kid. This one guy. <laughs> let's call him Ringo. Now, I've done a little business with him for a while, but not enough to where you would call him a serious client or an acquaintance. So, about a month goes by, and I haven't heard from Ringo, and then he calls me up. He says he wants some serious weight. <laughs> now, I've had people tell me that before, and when I meet up with him, they just want an ounce or something, you know. I mean, that's serious weight to some people. So, I don't think nothing of it. But then, I meet up with the guy, and Ringo says he wants nine pounds of grass. And some good shit, too. So, I was a little taken aback. I mean, that's some serious weight. It's definitely doable, but it's serious. And it's fucking expensive. But the motherfucker says he can only pay for one up front. And he promises me up and down how he'll have the rest of the money the following week. Now, I'm a little skeptical. But the way I see it, this was worked so much that I could pay two different motherfuckers a thousand dollars each to follow his ass around for a week. You know what he did the second day? What? He got an oil change. He headed west. Ringo was halfway through Pennsylvania before he decided to get a hotel for the night. I got the call. We drove out right away. Five hours. We showed up at 4 a.m. He was sleeping like a baby. And you know what happened next? What? Well, I don't want to keep you in suspense. But let's just say, no one ever saw Ringo again.